Hello everybody. Okay, in today's session we are looking at what is memory? So a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that memory is how much storage you've got in your computer and that is not what memory is. Do not make the mistake of saying that memory is the same thing as your secondary storage device like your hard drive. That is not what memory is. Main memory is your RAM. So it's where programs and data are stored while they're being used. So as we know, we've got our CPU works very closely with the RAM and it will fetch instructions from the open programs that are currently stored in RAM. Now, if I've got software on my computer like PowerPoint, it's actually stored long term in my secondary storage device, such as a hard drive or a solid state drive. But because your secondary storage device is relatively slow, when it's in use, it does get copied into RAM. Now, the reason for that is because RAM is so much faster than your secondary storage device. Now, because it was only copied there temporarily, if the computer was to be turned off, your main memory would forget what was currently stored in it. The word for that when it's forgotten is volatile. Now, let's have a look at another type of memory. So the next one is read-only memory or ROM. Now, you've probably heard the terminology read-only before, and it's usually on when you open like a Word document on Teams or something like that. And sometimes it's on there as read-only, and it quite literally means that you can only read from it. You can't write to it at all. Now, the reason for that is because it contains some very important information in there, which are the instructions that your computer needs to boot up, which is your BIOS. If you were to accidentally overwrite that information, then your computer might not be able to boot up again. Now, if I turn off my computer, unlike RAM, which forgets everything when you turn it off, your ROM will remember it all because it is non-volatile. So everything's still there even after the computer is switched off. So let's look at our final type of memory. We've got something called virtual memory. Now, virtual memory is not necessarily a good thing. It's when your secondary storage gets used as extra RAM. What that means is your RAM or your main memory is full. It means you've filled it to capacity. And when it's full, that's when your secondary storage device steps in and says, right, I will act as RAM so that you can free up a little bit of space. So whichever piece of software that you've currently got open that you've not used for a while, will be the one which gets moved into your secondary storage device as virtual memory. Well, as you know, the CPU fetches the instructions from RAM. So what has to happen is the, the software which is currently in virtual memory has to be moved back to RAM before it can be read by the CPU. Now this process is really slow, which is why virtual memory is not necessarily a good thing. Okay, so to finish with, we've got some exam questions on our memory topic. So what is the purpose of main memory in a computer? We've got explain why Mr. Moore might need more RAM in his computer. What is meant by virtual memory? And finally, is ROM volatile or non-volatile? Explain your answer. So as always, I would recommend not checking back in your notes if you can. Try and answer these from your recall and then checking to see if you got them right afterwards. And if you didn't, don't worry about it. You can just keep attempting those questions until they are firmly lodged into your long-term memory. And that's it for this session. I'll see you next time.